Hi guys, I'm Benny from GVS. In this video, I would like to introduce you the family of GVS KNX Classic and Multifunctional Actuators. Now a short video of 360 degrees showing the package, product, accessory, installation and wiring diagram. Firstly, let's take a look of the normal and current detection for 8 12 volt 16 amp actuators. The maximum output of each channel is 16 amp. The main characteristics are menu operation available, time functions on off delay, scene control, precise wire 8 bit, 1 bit commands, logic operation, and or XOR gate function. Status response, forced operation and safety function, reaction to threshold functions, control of electrothermal valve drive, selection of preferred state after bus voltage, failure and recovery, reversion of the outputs, staircase lighting functions with warning and adaptable staircase lighting time, current detecting for current detection models. Then, let's take a look of the database on ETS. In this section, I will show you all possible parameters, but I just emphasize some important ones. Okay, let's look at ETS. We can see the 4, 8, and 12 volt 60 amp. We use these three databases for each of them. And also for the current detection model, we use this database for 4, 8 and 12 volts. Okay, let's take check the details. First, this is a general setting. You can see we can set something like this. And for each channel, we it can work as switch actuator and also the dynamic regulating actuators. Let's check one by one. For switch actuator, this can be set. And this reply mode is very important. Okay. We can choose this, and there's also special function. When we activate, we can see these special functions: time, preset, logic, scene, some threshold, safety, and force. Okay, let's check each of them quickly. We can see for this time, we have delay switch, flashing switch, and the staircase lighting. For preset, we can also see this two percent the logic we can see this input and the the logics can be made and for the sync control this is also very important and maximum five things can be assigned for the threshold let's see we can see we can set like this for the safety we can see we can set it like this and for the forced function it will be like this Okay, then let's check the dynamic regulating actuator. Okay, we can see we can set the parameters here. And also there's special function. When we activate it, we can see the functions of monitoring, forced operation, regular switch, safety operation. For monitoring, it can set like this. For forced operation, it can be set like this. For regular, we can set also like this. For safety, we can set like this. Okay, that's the full function for the normal 4, 8, and 12 volt switch actuator. Let's check uh, check the current detection module. The only difference here <coughs> is that it can we can use one database and also there's there's also can be set the total current okay when we set this we can check the total current the energy consumption and if we choose for the individual channel the functions is exactly the same except the current detection here we can choose the parameters and uh, we can measure different kind of uh, power consumption 
if we use as hating actuator okay it can also set like this and also the special functions can be activated for special function we also have the this four but we have one more current so let's check the current we can see if this is the parameters for the current and also we can active uh, some more parameters okay that's all for the switch actuator 4 8 and 12 volts both normal and current detection thank you stay tuned <laughs>